Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We are continuing with control. Now, I know we left off uh, at a constrained part. Um, <laughs> big grump, but it's fine. Uh, we found out some information about the directorial override, some of those things. So we're just going to jump back into it, progress more with the story, and we will go from there. Um, I hope you guys are really enjoying this game. I know I am. Um, it's been just a fun little experience so far. So let's keep going. All right. So we dove into the safe room after this fight. Okay, I'm going to go down into lab one. There's more of the hiss. We can hear them. No collectibles. His sniper. Oh, I don't. His sniper. I'm not super worried about. Song question air. Auditory experience. Uh, 84C. Poets of the fall. My dark disquiet. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. Uh, the song explicit any particular memories. Did you at any point feel strong emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear at your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide the detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one was present? If so, what did they say? Do you hear them now? Uh, please choose one from the following pairs. One or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. It's better to burn out and fade away. Okay. A-W-E... 18 event date 6 17 93 event location okay event summary a possible awe in which an unnamed individual experience transcorporeality via a phone line event is notably similar uh, similar to awe blank in which blank that response event is believed to be caused by blank as a result of the following measures have been taken to prevent blank 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 correspondence plant complaint uh, hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe you could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. Where did the plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. People like, and people like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by house plants? Worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. And then the research sector tape. What is... Door close? Ah. Uh. So, I have a streamer mode on so I don't get copyright claimed. Uh, so that must be DMCA music, which is a big sag, but that's super cool. They're still under camera surveillance. Where the hell? Threshold utility. 
Threshold's have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by blank, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the Bureau, but we must always seize these opportunities. These reports will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought BlackRock, one of the most one of our most invaluable discoveries, but if the mold has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go to to fighting back the particular prolific plant. These are very distinct cases and worth comparing as their study often varies different, vast offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Interesting. Oh. I want you. Oh man. I wonder if there's a thing I gotta learn how to do first. Yeah, okay. So, parapsychology. For who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid? Dr. Theodore Ash. Is there another way into parapsychology? A new bureau alert, executive, hiss nodes. Go to the communications department. Oh, I took an optional. mission here. Actually. <sighs> Let's do a little bit more searching and see what we can find. Hello? Synchronicity. Oh. They were sitting here in a meeting. Okay. Hmm. Dimensional research. All right. Fire break.
The ashtray maze. Oh my god. Okay, um, I don't think this is where I need to be, but... Hello? Hello, let me out, please. <sighs> Dr. Darling's office? Oh shit. I guess I probably should have come in here first. Oh my god, all... your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them <laughs> we do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA honesty think of them as a uh, as a uh, life preserver only instead of water the the thing HRAs protect you from is um, One day that classified not water might pour in and you'll be glad you got a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. And Darling was losing. He knew the hiss was coming. Are you? Oh. Okay, dimensional research, let's go. We're just gonna keep going. Cause there's something about dimensional research and this is astral planes and shit. So we're just gonna get to the other side here. Okay. Research and records. Astral plane. Compiled by Casper Darling. Examination of paranatural topics, the astral plane and objects of power. Summary of the Bureau spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranormal energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, an ink link was created by blank and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of powers were placed on Earth by as tests by some astral entity or dimension was once part of the astral plane and the objects were left behind as its borders receded, the astral plane it was an early threshold onto the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through objects of power. I'll attempt to prove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully, the truth will emerge. Refer to that for the poll report. Uh, astral plane counter essay by Pope. Dr. Darling has insisted that certain objects of powers share a direct connection to the blank, an entity of group of entities that have little information on 
or little that I am allowed to access. Uh, in his writing, in his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the blank, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes that links are an eight, a fact ingrained into the very blank of objects, such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to blank, but had the connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the blank? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by the blank is a natural fact and not something more blank, blank, blank? Resonance theory. Confidential. Resonance. It's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is conscious? Is, is conscious? What could a force like that do? Blank opened the door to a blank I've called blank. The blank emits a force that is far beyond the forces we previously dealt with. It has shown me much that I have to wonder. Is resonance the key element in all altered phenomena? AWEs, altered items, object of powers, do they, objects of power, do they share a common blank that we have yet to discover? Can we harmonize? We can harmonize control points, but. El, what else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if the resonance has been the answer the whole time? Refer to file blank for the full report. Synchronicity. Theodore Ash. So the predecessor. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no individual identifiable causality yet clearly conjoined in purpose how does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane why do hounds bail at the death of their master which has occurred miles away the world is unified in ways we do not yet understand sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen cords and wonder at the result the visionary carl jung laid down the road now we must walk it my fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce blank behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will refer to full report. Budget request from C to C Darling from A. Lewis. Parakinesiology budget. Dear, dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague, Dr. Harrington, has already contacted you for an increase in our department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel, all fuss, but no results. Parakinesiology, God, that word is going to kill me, has always been the stronger department. Um, but breakthroughs, more breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your team can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do to an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Darling talking about the HRAs and the ashtray maze. So let's see, am I supposed to be here? Let's see what gun am I using? Yeah, let's switch. Okay. This is cool. This is so cool. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Oh. Now the painting is down. Things are just shoveled. Interesting. So you can get, you have to get through the maze. I think the answer to most mazes is hug the right wall. And that just led me back out. Mm, that does nothing. Okay. just led me right back. Huh. Let's run back across and see what the hell's going on. That maze is really nifty, though. Oh, I have combat going on. So we've been up here to Darling's office. That's all blocked. What the hell is that thing? We're gonna come down here where I have some fucking health to latch onto. hell are these? Come here, you. Damn threshold. Mm. And this is parapsychology.
Let's come down here through this side of the cafetria. Ooh. Oh, it's a radio. Such nice bathrooms. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what I'm missing. Dash up here. That's what both of them. Alright, so we're not making a whole lot of progress, so we're going to call this video here and I'm going to go probably do some looking and see if I can figure some things out. I promise I will record if I think I'm going to get anywhere into the story, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's so goofy. Uh, do I have to go down that hole? I don't, I don't know. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. And... Um, I'll see you here in the next video while we continue Jesse's story. Um, yeah. So uh, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Be good to yourselves. Be good to others. Bye. Why? Why is this so freaking hard? <sighs> I give up. All right. Done.